Hey, I'm Cher. Welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, hey, nice to have you guys back again. Thanks for joining me. New subscribers, welcome. Thanks for, for being a part of my channel. I really appreciate you coming in. Cheers. Collective, you and your person Cards are well shuffled. We're just going to warm them up a little bit here. I'm upside down. Just going to warm them up a little bit. The collective, you and your person. We're using the Gilded Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. Collective. Let's get her on. And let's get her done. Collective, let's go. You and your person. Am I upside down? I am. Collective, you have the Empress. No. Am I upside down? Okay. Whew. You have the Empress. You have the Two of Wands in the reverse. You have the Five of Wands in the reverse. You have the Seven of Wands in the reverse. And you have the Strength card in the reverse. And you have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse collective you're all over energy what is going on you're all over energy is the ace of swords straight up your person let's give him a shuffle oh collective Cards are falling, flipping everywhere. Only keep them if they fall to the left. Your person. Just keep shuffling. Spirits in the room. Spirit speaks. Your person has a two of pentacles. The four of wands reversed. The tower reversed. What's going on with you guys? The Fool reversed. Death card reversed. And the Lovers reversed. My God, your person's all over energy. Sounds to me like the two of you are just about done. That's what it sounds like to me. They have the Ten of Swords right straight up. Lot of pain. Collective. Some kind of truth coming into you. Knowing the truth. Understanding what is going on. You know. You know that this is your person. And you know that you are your person's person. You know it. It was meant to be. But there was... A lot of guarding, a lot of argument, a lot of fighting. No path seemed to want to come forward with this. No path seemed to be present. You lost your strength in this relationship. You were saying to yourself, I, I just can't keep going. Like, I, I'm just weak from this. I'm weak. I'm tired from this. Somebody was, I feel that you were very guarded and I feel that there were times that you might have wanted to, you probably might have wanted to like really scream at your person. But now it just seems like everything's being let go. The strength is, you still have uh, no strength. You used to think of this person as a, a smooth talker and a sexy walker. But even that seems to be kind of disappearing right now. It's almost like, no, I'm, I'm done. I can't keep doing this. I can't keep doing it. It appears some kind of truth has come into you. But what I see here is that you, you just don't even want a path anymore. You don't want anything from this person anymore. 
more or less what I'm seeing, though, is that um, you knowing, you knowing that it could possibly work, but that there was a, a problem here that two people just didn't see eye to eye kind of thing, and and now it, what I have is just given up. I have collective here that's just given up. I, I just can't keep going. I've lost my strength, I've lost my will, I've lost my drive. There is a possibility you may have a child with this person. But I just have, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I can't keep going. And telling yourself some sort of truth. That, you know what, this isn't working. This is not working. I know it can if it's given a chance, but it doesn't seem to be a chance. Your person's all over energy right now is a Ten of Swords. Someone is in a great deal of pain. Pain. An ending. Knowing that something has ended. But feeling uh, as if they... Um, feeling as if they might have learned a lesson from this or that they they might be in great grieving over you and missing that connection. But there's some kind of instability here with this person. And when I've got the fool in the reverse with no leap, no leap whatsoever, they don't plan on coming back, but I got some kind of unstable thinking here. Somebody's not thinking properly, and why I say that is this could also be someone that you might have lived with or someone that you were might, might have been married to, because there's some kind of an instability in a marriage and a connection. But even though I see that there's no leap, I also see there's no ending. So what I'm feeling here is that there's, what I'm feeling here is that there's no, no ending. There's no finished here. There's no, this person is definitely not done. Not done. But I have the tower in the reverse and the lover's card in the reverse. There is no love here. There is no lover's here. I'm not going to say there's no love here. Backtrack. There is no lovers here. It is done. It is done. The collective is like moving away. The collective is saying, I'm done. And this person here, your person. Thank you, spirit. Your person saying, fine, I'm done too. But they're, they're not freaking done. They're feeling the pain. They're feeling the burn. They're, they're missing. They're not done. There's no way. They're not in the tower. No. But they hurt. But they're not in the tower. But there's none of this anymore right now. There's none of this lover's connection. Collective is really, really moving on here. Let's see what else spirit is going to bring us here. Let's move over to the collective and find out if maybe there might be a change of heart or a change of mind. Walking away from communication. Walking away from communication here. Moving on to something else. It might be moving on to maybe working or, or trying to find another path and uh, an enriching an enriching path here. But with the communication walking away, this is a collective who, I've got to tell you, is just freaking done. But what is this Knight of Pentacles? The Knight of Pentacles is a collective. Am I upside down? Yes. This is a collective that might have options. Maybe some kind of options came in. It might be some kind of an enriching offer that the collective has received. Or it could be a collective that just wants to um, move forward with work and concentrate on a project maybe that they've been working on. Ooh. 
Oh, okay. So what I have is a collective that's getting ready to uh, some sort of a reunion here, but it's not with your person. It's a collective who, who, who is not crying over the person anymore. It's a collective that doesn't have feelings anymore. It's a collective that's definitely moved on. But some kind of other uh, thing that's going on here, some other kind of celebration. It could be the Six of Pentacles with the equal give and take elsewhere here. What I feel is that this collective that might have been breadcrumbed uh, to the point where finally they're saying, I'm freaking done. Let's just pull a couple more cards. I'm done with the devil. Not my emperor anymore. Holy shit. That's what I got. I'm done with the devil. I'm done with the addictions. I'm done with this emperor. And I'm, I'm just, I'm raising my sword, putting up boundaries, and I'm making a judgment call. And that judgment call is I'm going to find my own happiness here with the three of cups. I'm going to find my own happiness. Let's move over to your person here and find out what's going on with your person. No justice, using their intuition about something about uh, releasing a cup, not accepting a cup. No justice. No justice. This person might feel, okay, so let's get another card out here. Holy crap. This might have been in a, a person who might have, uh, I, I feel very strongly over here, collective, that you've been breadcrumbed. But what I got here is this person didn't feel justified. They felt that maybe they were breadcrumbed for some reason. But then again, for some reason, I've got that they're in unstable or instable um, emotions, uh, not thinking quite, um, quite right. What I have here is this person may feel that maybe you just talk too much and you demand it too much. And they're using their intuition and they're saying, well, it's a good thing I refused their cup because I think that they might have, they might have just used me or, or it would have ended anyway. I would have gave my heart. They would have just, uh, they would have just, you know, used me. But now I got chariot. Uh, all I can say is what the hell was wrong with this person. No, what have we got here? And when I got you releasing the devil, this could be releasing the devils, releasing addictions. We, we could have someone here who's uh, hot and cold. This is someone who is, their thinking is not straight. Their thinking is, well, it's a good thing I got out of there. But, geez, you know, I've, I've got think I'll go over and visit them. You know, like, what the hell is going on here? See, this kind of thinking I can't process. I can't process this kind of thinking. All I know is this person is really, really, really hurting. Really hurting, no matter what they say. Here they come, darling. Here they come. But for some reason here, no. Okay. Let me think, get another card here. Look, Tim. Okay, so I got the chariot and I got the judgment card. And I got this person, their intuition is all friggin' wrong, all wrong. Their intuition is, well, thank God I got the hell away from collective. Jeez, what a friggin' nightmare that person is. Refusing your cup. And you know what? I've got to tell you, the only freaking reason why they're doing it is because they're freaking mirroring you. Now, now, normally, this is the most beautiful woman in the whole freaking world. The queen herself, the queen of pentacles herself. Very, very beautiful woman. Somebody that's very, very hard to resist, but with their thinking, they want to come back. Look, Jesus. They want to come back. They want to start over again. But what this is, is, is not that they don't think that you're, st that you're still beautiful. What this is, is they're mirroring. And they're like, okay, Collective is being, a, a, being an ass. And Collective is not paying any attention to me and pretending that they can get along just fine without me. Well, I can do that too. Uh, see, I don't think you're beautiful anymore. 
And I'm just glad I got the hell away from you. And this is like, only the collective here really means it. They don't. And, and this is where the pain comes from. They don't. They're mirroring and they're acting just like you. Like, I, I don't give a shit anymore. Like, I, I don't think you're beautiful anymore. And I'm glad that I, I managed to escape. And collective here is bound and determined. Like, no, no, we're done. We're done. But this person is, no, we're done. We're done. But they're not. They're not. The great magician himself. The great wizard. What's he doing? What's he doing? What is this great wizard doing? Not too damn much of anything. I'll tell you that. Because whatever they're freaking manifesting. My God. Whatever they're manifesting. Nothing's coming out, darling. Nothing's happening. Everything is upside down, inside out. Upside down, inside out. There's no justice. There's no justice. I'll be damned. This, this person's manifesting, but it, it seems like the more they're manifesting, the worse it gets because, because they're pretending. Because they don't feel this way. And because they're trying to mirror you and they're trying to feel that way and then trying to manifest you back. And what we got is we got two different forces rubbing. Rubbing against each other that's causing friction. And when you got friction, you get, well, your bank account starts going down and things don't start working very well. Nothing seems to come towards you. And thinking and thinking and thinking, looking at things in all different ways. And how to get back. My God, the games we play, my love, I tell you. The freaking games we play. Let's move back over to Collective here. Collective very much feeling that somebody was sneaky. Holding on to like this, I'm done, I'm finished, but uh, you know what? They better not come back carrying their friggin' stick. That's for damn sure. Their stick or their stick at, they better not come back. Somebody was very, very sneaky. This was the devil releasing, releasing the sneaky person. Holding it very tight to your chest, but why? Healing, trying to heal. And this is collective. I'm going to tell you, it, you might be letting go. And you set up your boundaries, and you're done, you're done, you're done, you're done. But that doesn't mean that it's forgotten. It doesn't mean that it doesn't still hurt. Because I still see that you hold on to it. Even though you're done, there's still moments of healing that need to be done here. Your person, the wheel of fortune keeps moving them back over. The wheel of fortune keeps telling them, go back in there. I got the nine of wands feeling all heavy and nasty. Wheel of fortune's trying to move them back over. The judgment card's trying to move them back over. That's where your life is. That's where your happiness is. That's where your garden grows. That's that's where you are, what you can be. That's where everything is, over there. They're going to try to work on this. This is a big thinker. Big thinking people. You know, the big thinking person does a lot of thinking. And they know, they know where their riches lie. And they're, they're going to try to work on this. But you know what, this person? I don't know what's going on here. Nightmare card. This is someone waiting for the swords to fall. That's what this is. They want to work on it because they know. This, this is just a freaking nightmare. I read a nightmare here that this person is living. Mirroring and trying to be like... Uh, Let's see who can last the longest kind of thing. All the forces against them. Using their intuition all wrong. The 
great wizard here. The car is sitting right there, the, the chariot sitting right there for them. And you're sitting there and thinking and thinking and thinking and nothing's working. There's no justice here. Thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and always. But there's some sort of imbalance here. And when I got the devil over here releasing the devil, that tells me a lot. What I got here is a collective who is telling themselves the truth like, you know what, if things were different, I really feel that this would be the one that I would be their empress and they would be my emperor. Right, I got the empress straight up. I got the emperor upside down. Right next to the addiction card. Right next to the devil. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull one or two angel answer cards out here. I'll pull them out for each side. But I got a collective who's probably really, really like just done. I, I can't keep doing this. And I got your person mirroring you. Well, I can't keep doing this either. But they want to keep doing this. I hope this reading makes sense to you, darlings. All I know is that they hurt. They hurt. What I have here for signs is Aries. I have uh, Capricorn, Aries, Libra. Um, excuse me while I uh, tear this apart. I've got Leo. Again, Aries, again, Libra. I have um, Aquarius, Scorpio is in there. Gemini, Gemini is pretty big here. Aries is big here. Good Cancer. All signs are here, but that's what's prominent here. Virgo is prominent. So let's find out. We'll give them one cut. And on your side, I have be assertive. <laughs> Be assertive. There's no doubt that uh, you're putting down boundaries and kind of demanding things to be different. And on their side, let's give it a cut. On their side, I have a yes. Yes. Probably the angels telling them, yes, get back in there. This is, this is your person. This is what you should be working on. You should be working on your person instead of friggin' playing the nightmare game here. Sitting around in a nightmare. For you, I have looked for a sign. I don't know what kind of sign you're looking for, darling, but keep your eyes open. Probably a sign that your person is feeling very, very heavy laden. And for your person, <laughs> yes, <laughs> freaking unbelievable. This is a stubborn, stubborn energy here. Stubborn, stubborn energy for you. I have be assertive, look for a sign. And for your person, double up in the yeses. To realize what they should be working on. Instead of living this. Instead of living this. And take a good look at the chariot that you got parked outside and get the hell in there. Collective. <laughs> it's a hell of a reading. God I love you, darling. Thank you so much for joining me today. We'll see you next time. Namaste.